at the uh, Planning Board, uh, ZBA, sorry, Zoning Board of Appeals um, meeting. Um, roll call, please. Mr. Shaw? Mr. Here. Mr. Delacourt? Here. Mr. Haas? Here. Mr. Here. So we have a number of items on the agenda tonight. Uh, they're all public hearings. Uh, the first one is appeal number 187675. It's for Joan D. Sanford seeking an area variance with section 24030-B of the district regulations in R40 zoning. Uh, where no more than two accessory structures shall be permitted in a one family resident district. The applicant has three existing structure and is proposing the construction of a new 10 by 16 shed, thus requesting a variance to allow all four structures to remain. The property is located at 131 Ketchum Town Road and is identified by tax grid number 61570329426326 in the town of Wappinger. Uh, Joan, why don't you come up and tell the audience what you're looking for? Oh, wait, Joe, you have to stay over here by the microphone. We'll be okay. uh, before we do that, can I have a motion to open the public hearing, please? I'll make a motion open. Can motion. I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Uh, Sorry, please proceed. Okay. <laughs> um, I feel weird now because I'm not talking to those people, but I'll talk to you. Okay. Um, as you know, when you came to the house on Saturday, I have five and a half acres. I have a small shed, a garage, and another shed in the back. I have one neighbor who is physically next to my house. The rest of my neighbors are basically, they probably wouldn't even see any of the sheds, probably the garage. So what I'd like to do is I do not have a attic in my home. I want to consolidate and clean it out and start um, organizing. I'd like to take um, items out of my basement, which of course my house is um, an 1860, so my basement has a uh, dirt floor. And I'd like to take like my gardening stuff out of there and just have everything in one spot that is dry. I'd like to put my bicycle in there too. I um, did everything that you had asked me to do. I have paperwork for you. You'd like me to bring it up? Sure. Okay. Uh, okay. It's from it's from Southern News, Katie Seat, and affidavit. Um, excuse me. Green cards are all here. These ones you want, or the other ones? Which ones do you want? These are the ones that were sent back. I did, it's right here. You have the white receipt, John. You want the small one then, correct? Yes. Okay, because not everybody sent them back. I did give you a list here of who did send them back. I was hoping today to get a couple of more. The drain mark, this is something you should identify for the public hearing. So I'll just, what? I'll just take these from you. So um, I also, after the uh, F you met with me, I did see um, Simon on his property and I asked him if he would write you a letter and give his opinion of what he felt about having a fourth outbuilding. I have the letter here, may I give it to you so you can read it? Sure. Anything else? No, sir. Okay. Anybody have any questions for Joan? So I have a, a statement. So right now you have three existing. You're going to put a fourth in there. We talked about this when we were at your house, about taking the smaller one down, the little five by six. Um, again, we like to keep it to three structures if we can. I don't want to set a precedent that basically says that you have four, everybody else is going to want four. 
so I wonder if you would consider taking down the smaller shed. Like I explained to you, when I bought that house 40 years ago, May 28th, I had horses. And that little shed looks like a barn, and I'm keeping the country look to it. I'm not willing to get rid of that shed. I like how it looks, it's yellow, it, it's the same color as my house. Uh, the new shed is going to be painted yellow. I'm gonna put a courtyard between the new shed and the old shed, and actually from the road, you're probably not gonna even see uh, the new one. So you do realize that um, you're asking for that fourth structure here, and we don't have to necessarily grant that if you're going to keep the other I three structures. That. Okay. I understand that. Mm -hmm. But I'm hoping that you do because you can see how neat my property is. Totally landscaped. It's always neat. It's always clean. My neighbor didn't have to write a beautiful letter like that. Okay. Anybody else have any questions? So the new shed you are putting, what shape would be that? Like barn shape? I'm sorry. The new shed you're planning to put it in, what shape will be that? Similar to what you have five by eight? The, the new shed is 10 by 16. Yeah, what shape will be? Oh, the little shed? Oh, it's like five by six, All right. you saw it. it was, right. It's a small, and it looks like a little barn. It's just like really cute. So newer will be also like barn or no? No, you have a copy of it. It's just a straight shed, the next straight one. Shed. The new one is just a straight shed. It's got, um, Got double doors on the front, mm -hmm. the two windows have window boxes. It actually was the one that I had gone over to New Paul's at the fair, the New Paul's fair, and it is the one that uh, uh, Brad Barnes used, you know, to solicit their barns. And when I went over there, uh, he said that I could have it for a little bit less than what he had at the, uh, at the fair. And as I said, it's paid for. Mm -hmm. So if you guys say no to me, then I just, I hope I get my money back. I didn't realize that it was going to be yeah. this difficult to get a shed, honestly. I've done everything by the books through the town for 40 years. I've kept my house beautiful for 40 years, and I've kept my lawns beautiful. It's all landscaped. It's, it's very nice. Mm -hmm. You saw it. It's in really nice condition. So we're not, we're not saying anything about your property. It's very nice, very well maintained. This has to do with the variance that you're coming before I the see. board to get, and mm -hmm. you're asking our permission to grant that variance. Correct. So, are, are there any I other structures that you'd be willing to remove? And I'm sorry. Are, are there any other structures on the property you'd be willing to remove? There is. Um, I, I to have some storage out of my house. I rented one of those sheds from. Who is that up in Poughkeepsie? Arnott. So uh, thank you, Arnott. That shed is going. That would go. That, that's the box. The the middle one. That yes. was the box. Right. Yeah. But that, that's a different issue. That has to go anyway. No, I could keep it there forever if I wanted. Mm -hmm. I would just have to get a permit for it. We but don't I get thought the permit permits to cargo containers or pods. Oh, okay. So it would have to go. It would yeah. go anyway. Yes. You have what a nine-month restriction? If you had taken it out when you first got it, which you yourself said has been there a while. We mm -hmm. allowed nine months mm -hmm. uh, for people in transition that are getting yes. ready to move. Yes. Yes. So technically, as part of, if a variance were granted, that would be one of the things that would have to be removed I would as part of the condition. That. Yes, that would go. I, I, I believe I said that to you on Saturday. I think you had asked me that on Saturday, and I yeah. said no, that it would be going. Okay. Any other questions? No. Yeah. Okay. Be all the paperwork's in order, I assume? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, can I have a motion to close the public hearing? I'll make a motion. Does anybody else hearing? check anybody in the audience here to speak? Oh. Ah, sorry. Anybody else like to speak for or against this variance? Okay. Hearing none, can I have a motion to close the public hearing? I'll make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Can I have a motion to either grant or deny the variance? Um, I'll make a motion if you want. Want to go ahead, Bob? I make a motion to... Uh, Grant the variance with the conditions that the one of the three existing accessory structures is removed. So limiting the accessory structures to three total. Otherwise, you're on four. So what you want to do is, in order to grant the variance, you want you want one of them to come down in addition to the pod. Also right. being removed, correct? correct. 
Okay. That's the motion on the floor. Is there a second? I second it. Roll call, B. Mr. Shaw? Yes. Mr. Gillardy? I, I second uh, with the stipulation. And I'm going to also concur with Mr. Haas that what he said that has to be the only three sheds and the pot has to come down. Go away. Go away. Mr. Haas? I agree with my results. <laughs> 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 okay, so. And I'm going to agree as well. Again, same condition, only three structures there and the pot has to go um, immediately. So it's been there for quite some time, and mm -hmm. um, it's extended past the nine-month uh, mm -hmm. period. So again, that has to be removed as well. So small shed has to go, and the pot has to go. And that's what the, we, in that particular case, we grant the variance in that respect. So your variance is granted, except for you have to remove, again, the small yellow structure or another structure, and the pot also has to go. OK? <laughs> Your rule. Yep. I guess it has to be okay. That's what we rule. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next item on the agenda tonight is appeal number 197674, Claudia Levesque and Joe Schaefer, seeking area variance in section 240-37 of district regulations and an R40 zone where no accessory structure is permitted in the front yard. The applicant is seeking a variance to allow for an 18-foot uh, above-ground pool, round pool, and deck to be placed in their front yard. The property is lo located at 188 Osborne Hill Road and is identified by tax grid number 615601-41856 in the town of Wappinger. Good evening, Claudia and Joseph. Yeah. So why don't you tell the audience a little bit about what you want, but before we do that, we need to open the public hearing. So I can have a motion to open the public hearing? I will make a motion. Can I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, sorry, now you may speak. Okay. So um, we live on a flag lot yep. um, right off of Osborne Hill Road. Our property doesn't touch Osborne Hill, which I think you've all, you've all seen the, uh, the property. So um, yep. the way our house is situated on the property is in the back. So everything we have is front yard. That's all we have. And the, the unique thing about our property is you, you really can't see any of our neighbors. We're surrounded by trees, woods. We share a, a we driveway. Share a, a driveway. Yeah. We have an easement for the driveway with uh, Mr. Patina. Um, and then the house is facing that, that drive. But anyway, um, the reason for the variance is um, the only place we have to put the pool is in, is in the front. Yeah, like, everything's in the front. But that's the only really uh, option we have. Yeah, so we took a look at your property. We looked at moving it potentially farther back. There was no option there. Um, looks like where you have it now is probably in the best location. Yeah. Give a little bit of sunlight, you know, full sunlight for the right. day. And we just got that one big tree in the, the overhang there. But yeah. other than that. And it is the furthest away there. It's the furthest away from all the properties. All the other properties, correct. Okay. All right. Any questions from the board? No. I have no questions. Uh, the Anybody from the audience like to speak for or against this variance? Okay. Uh, hearing none, can I have a motion to close the public hearing? I'll make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. I have a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Can I now have a motion to either grant or deny the variance? I'll make, I'll, a, motion. I'll make, I'll, I'll make a motion to grant the applicant the variance. Your property is quite unique. You know, I see that. You're, um, I don't believe the benefit can be achieved by any other feasible means. There's no undesirable change to the neighborhood or surrounding area. Uh, the request is substantial. However, there'll be no adverse effects on the environment as well. So I vote that we grant the applicant the variance. Can I have a second? Second. second. Roll call, please be. Either one. Yes. One second of it. Yes. Well, we both did at the same time. So okay. Yes. 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 So the variance is granted. You're all set to go. It'll be available in about five days. So, and you're all set to go. Just okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just, just note for the record that this lot does not have frontage on Town Road, and that.
that um, no, pursuant to town with 280A, um, the permit, building permit can be granted, notwithstanding the fact that it doesn't have any frontage. Okay. Do, do you have to say that, Jim, or is it good enough for you to say Just, we'll put it in the record. Okay. Thank I you. think, I think you just did. Thank you. Okay. You're good to go. Okay. You're Thanks. good to go. Thank Thanks. You. Thank you. Okay, next item on the agenda tonight is appeal number 197676, Nicole and Travis Clark, seeking an area variance of section 240-37, district regulations in R20 zoning district, uh, where 35 feet is required to the front lot. The applicant only provide 30 feet, thus requesting a variance of five feet for the construction of need by five front porch. The prop is located at 47 Robert Lane and is identified by tax grid number 61580615804920143 in the town of Wappinger. May I have a motion to open the public hearing? I'll make a motion to open the public hearing. Can I have a second, please? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, Nicole, I guess. Great. So we are just looking to replace our front porch. Um, currently, um, we it's actually what's existing on the property, so we just be replacing what's already there um, using um, trucks um, construction. Uh, there's a walkway. I don't know if you guys were out there. Yeah, we were out there. We took a yeah, look. You see the walkway going to it. I mean, if she was have to turn it, it would basically mean, you know, you're going to end up having to dig up that hole. So basically what you're going to do is this almost the same footprint, but you're going to make it a little bit wider. Is that what you're going to do? Okay. Are you the, uh, I'm sorry, you're the uh, This is my person. father. I'm oh, sorry. okay. <laughs> sorry. You're going to be doing the construction problem. <laughs> no, 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 I still don't. <laughs> Any other questions from the uh, the board? No, I'm good. Pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. Anybody from the audience like to speak for or against this variance? If not, can I have a motion to close the I'll public hearing? To close the public hearing. Can I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Can I have a motion to either grant or deny the variance? I'll make a motion that we grant the variance. Uh, the requested variance will not produce an undesirable change in the neighborhood. Uh, there will be no substantial detriment uh, created to nearby properties. Um, there are no other feasible means available for you to pursue the uh, benefit that you seek. Um, the requested variance is not substantial um, because you're actually putting the, the footprint in the same spot. Um, and the proposed variance will not have a adverse effect or on the physical or environmental conditions of the neighborhood and the alleged difficulty is self-created but not detrimental. So I, I make a motion. And I think it, what it does aesthetics wise, it makes it look a lot nicer too. So I think that uh, the neighborhood and yourselves will, will all like that. So can we have a second? Second. Can I have a roll call be, please? Mr. Shaw, yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. <coughs> yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Motion has been granted. You're all set. Paperwork will be out in five days, and you're good to go. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good night. Okay. Next item up is number appeal number nineteen seven six seven seven. Kevin and Lynn Asti. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Seeking area variance of section two forty thirty seven of the district regulations and an R twenty R forty zoning. Uh, district where 10 feet on the side yard, yard is required. The applicant will provide four feet, thus requesting a variance of six for the legalization of that nice, wonderful red shed you have in the back. Property is located at 7 Heather Court and is identified by tax grid number 625602-605769 in the town of Wappinger. B, you roll the mailings in order. Okay. Do I have a motion to open a public hearing? I'll make a motion. Can I second? Second. All in favor? Hi. Okay. Kevin, go ahead. Hi. Thank you for your time tonight. Um, we're here for the variance. We have an existing shed that was placed on our property in the early 2000s, many, many years before we bought the property in 2016. Um, so we're seeking a variance uh, of six feet. It's currently four feet off the property line, um, and it's an eight by eight foot shed, generally used for tools and things like that. How long have you owned the property? Since 2016. Okay. Now you're in the process of selling it, and in the process of selling, you found out I'm not going to legalize the uh, shed. Is that what Correct. happened? Okay. 
So, Barbara, I guess this is a makeshift amnesty, huh? Back then. The amnesty was only offered for a year in 2003. Yeah. I missed out on that. Okay. Uh, any other questions from the board? Any, um, anybody like to speak for or against this in the audience? Seeing and hearing none, can I have a motion to close the public hearing? Motion to close the public hearing. I have hearing. a second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I have a motion to either grant or deny the variance. I'll make a motion to grant the applicant the variance. I don't believe that the benefit could be achieved by any other feasible means. It's uh, actually, it's quite, shed is quite nice. <laughs> it doesn't create any undesirable uh, detriment to the neighborhood. Uh, the request is substantial, however. Uh, no adverse effects on the environment and the, uh, whether it's uh, self created, I guess is questionable because you didn't put it there, but it is part of your property. But as, as Tom had mentioned before, there is no detriment. So I uh, vote yes to grant the applicant the variance. Can I have a second? Second. Please. Can I have a roll call, please? Yes. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. 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 So you have been approved. You're all set. You're going to be legal now. You can sell that property. <laughs> and uh, okay. good luck to you. Hard to believe it's still in Wappingers, by the way. <laughs> it is. Just, Just barely. barely. Yeah. Bring lots of fuel. Thank you. It's true. Have a good night. Did we mention that we have electricity? Okay. All right. Next on the agenda, uh, field number 197679, Donald F. Ross, seeking an area variance section 240-37 of district regulations and the R20 zoning district where 20 feet to the side yard is required. The applicant can only provide 14.7 feet, thus requesting a variance of 5.3 for two existing decks. Where 20 feet to the side yard line is required, the applicant can only provide 17 feet, thus requesting a variance of three feet. Property is located at 50 Capo Hill Road and is identified tax grid number 6359030401 in the town of Wappinger, and I just want to make a, an opening statement. He is my neighbor, but that will have no adverse effect <laughs> on my decision. we got a couple of neighbors in here tonight, I think. Um, <laughs> so, so, can I have a motion to open, open the public hearing, please? I'll make a motion. Open can I have a second? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Mr. Ross. Thank you. Uh, my name is Don Ross. I live at 50 Topple Hill Road. Thank you for your time, I appreciate that. I don't know what stuff coming out on a Saturday. So I have an existing deck that's 14.7 uh, feet from the property line. So I'm gonna be asking for a 5.3 foot variance for the existing deck. And the new deck um, that we wanna build is roughly 17 feet, or not roughly, it is 17 feet for the property line. So we're looking for a three foot variance for the new deck, uh, which is gonna be a 10 by 24 deck, pool deck. I might say that my wife won't be happy till you can land a helicopter on my deck. <laughs> <laughs> so those are the, uh, those are the vi two variances I'm requesting. Um, uh, okay. Do you have any questions? I think we were all out there on, uh, uh, yeah. we were out there tonight, but I think that the other four of us were out mm -hmm. there and We saw the outline. Right. Is there a question? Right. Something you want to add? <laughs> What's that? Is there something you want to add? No, no, I think we're good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so again, we were all out there. We, we got a view of it. You had it staked out very nice or chalked out very nice. So uh, we all saw where your boundary was. As a matter of fact, your property actually is on the other side of the fence that we saw. So um, that, was, that was good news too. So um, any questions from anybody on the, the board? Okay. It, pretty straightforward. Anybody in the audience uh, like to speak for or against this variance? Uh, can I have a motion to close the uh, I'll make public a motion meeting? To close the Second. Hearing. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No. Okay. Can I have a motion to either grant or deny the two variances and just keep them together so we'll, we'll pass it or decline it as, as one variance? I think variance. a motion to grant the variance. Um, the benefit. Variances, right? Huh? Yeah. Variances. variances. Two. Um, one existing and one new. Uh, the, the benefit um, is not achievable by, by any other means. Um, it's not an undesirable uh, change in the neighborhood. The request um, is a little bit substantial. Um, it won't have any 
physical and environmental effects on the rest of the neighborhood. Um, and it is self-created. But uh, I still recommend that we approve it. OK. Can I have a second, please? Thank you, second. Can I get a roll call, please? Mr. Shaw? Yes. Mr. Gavardi? Yes. Mr. Delacour? Yes. Mr. Haas? Yes. Yes. So you're approved. Five days, you'll get your paperwork. You're all set to go. Thank you very much. Have a good Thank night. you very much. E even though you're a Red Sox fan, we're still going to approve. I knew that. <laughs> okay. Next appeal number, 197678. Red Cedar Arborist and Landscapes Incorporated, seeking area variance section 240-37 and 240-30B of district regulations in HB zoning district where 75 feet is required to a state or county road. The applicant only provide 42 feet, thus requesting a variance of 33 feet uh, for an existing barn and new arbor. Also, where no accessory building height in, can exceed 20 feet, the applicant can only provide uh, 25 feet, thus requesting a variance of five feet to legalize the, exist the existing height on the non-conforming barn. And then, of course, the third one is where 20 feet to the side yard property line is required. The applicant will provide eight feet, thus requesting a variance of 12 feet to allow building on the right side of the property. Property located at 185 New Hackensack Road and is identified by tax grid number 615802999951 in the town of Wappinger. Be are all the uh, paperwork in order? Can I have a motion to open a public hearing? I'll make a motion to open a public hearing. Can I have a second, please? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Why don't you introduce yourself? I know Mr. Rillier from Red Cedar. Um, introduce yourself, ma'am. I'm Michelle Zerker. Burger Engineering. I'm sorry. I couldn't hear so, Robert. Can you just speak up a little bit? I'm Michelle Zerfus from Burger Engineering, Joe Burger's okay. office. And most of the requested variances are for existing around the sides of the building. There is the new one to um, add on to the front of the building. The, the wooden arbor. structure he was talking about on Saturday. Right. Yep. Right. With, with the cover of mm -hmm. the door and an arbor to dress up the building, which the planning board liked, and they gave us the architectural approval last week. So we've had architectural review approval. So that is the the one new that's not existing variance that they would like. And it brings it out nine feet further from the building. The building was already in the setback. This is an additional nine feet. So basically, by the line, you're going to redo the whole building, right? Because I don't know if the folks know, but this is next to the doctor's office there. They've got that big, I'll call it silver building there. And uh, what they're going to do is really rejuvenate the whole thing. It's, it's, they're going to make it really, really nice. I don't know if you can see the sketches. Uh, Steve, if you might just show the audience a little bit. We've seen it. So I don't know if the folks can see what it would look like before, but what it looks like now is you know, a significant improvement. Mm. And most of the variances you're requesting are basically to get you in compliance. And the only one that you're actually doing new is the, the wood structure in the front? Yes. Okay. Um, any questions from the board at all? Um, you have a question? There's something about a neg, neg deck that was issued in this one? The planning board issued a neg deck at their May 6th meeting so that you can... So we can make a ruling on the variance. Yes. Um, yep. I have a question. I'm confused about the height variance. Um, I was looking at the, the code, and it's 35 feet? For the primary. Oh, this is accessory structure. Right. It's 20 feet. Is that to the peak or is that to the median? The median of the roof. Okay, so he still needs five, still needs five feet. That. Okay. Right. And the, just while we're talking about it, the other building's existing, but it is eight feet from the side. Mm -hmm. the right, right, side. right, right. So this is just basically cleaning up some deficiencies. Uh, and I think the other thing he said he was going to do in the back is he's going to put a berm on the back for the noise and some, put some trees up on the back so that'll help because they have the. Uh, just to make it a little more aesthetically looking Stinker. nice, but also to you know help out the tenants that are, I guess, off to the right with that. You know, a good landscaper that could take care of that. There's going to be a berm kind of going across, and then on the side, it's going to have a berm with fence and the berm with trees to sort of across to cut, cut off the back 
part that's of in between this property and the and the doctor's place. Correct. How high is the berm? Just out of curiosity. Uh, I thought I thought your gentleman said four feet. It's not. The berm here is about three feet. Okay. But you're also going to plant the trees on the berm, though, too, right? trees behind you are significantly larger than the ones that are at the property now, so. Existing one. Okay. Any other questions from the board? No. No, we Is took there... a look at the site on Saturday and um, you got to run down on how everything looked and um, it's Is there anybody in the audience like to speak for or against the variance? Hearing none, may I have a motion to close the public hearing? I'll make a motion to close the public hearing. Can I get a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, can I now have a motion to either grant or deny the variance, please? Can we do these all in one shot? Yeah, we'll do them all in one okay. shot. All right, I'll make a motion to grant the applicant the variance. I think you're going to improve the property substantially and all the buildings that are there. Anything that you're, you're going to do is going to improve the way that looks. Uh, I don't believe the benefit can be uh, achieved by any other means. It's not going to create any undesirable change to the neighborhood or properties. Uh, some of the uh, requests are substantial in nature. Uh, will create no adverse effects to the neighborhood, and I don't believe that these are self-created. So I grant the uh, variances to the applicant. Or do you want to make a motion to grant them? I'll make a motion to grant. Second. <laughs> the variance. Okay. Can I have a roll call, please? Yes, we do. Yes. 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 So your variances have been approved. Five days paperwork come out, and you're good to go. Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs> Okay, the last but not least, appeal number 197680, ENC, I'm going to say this wrong, Esposis Properties, seeking area variance of section 240-37 and 240-30B of district regulations in R20 zoning, where 35 feet to the front property line is required. The applicant will only provide 15 feet, thus requesting a variance of 20 feet for the expansion of an existing building where no more than two accessory buildings shall be permitted in a one-family residential district. No such ex accessory building shall have a footprint greater than 600 square feet or a height in excess of 20. The applicant is proposing, proposing a 30 by 60 foot four, four bay garage, 1,800 square feet, thus requesting a variance of 1,200 square feet. The property is located at 20 McFarland Road and is identified by <coughs> tax grid number 6157044 Zero seven, sorry, zero seven two zero two seven one, in the town of Wappinger. Uh, can I have a motion to open the public hearing, please? I'll make a motion that we open. Can I have a second? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Good Why don't you uh, give your name to the audience? I'm sure there's some questions going to be here. Margaret McManus with Beatty and Watson. Um, as you know, we are here requesting two variances. One is for an existing non-conforming uh, condition. Which Margaret, is, pull the microphone. Oh, sorry. Uh, so the first is for an existing non-conforming uh, setback from the front yard, which is about 15 feet presently and will continue to be. We need to get the variance if there is going to be any change or improvement to the building, which we are seeking under uh, site plan review. Um, the, the other variance is to construct um, a garage that is uh, 1,800 square feet, which is more than the uh, allowable for accessory buildings in this zone. As you know, the, the site is used as a commercial. It received um, a use variance. Um, 
their requirements are to meet the underlying zoning. So that's why we are seeking the variance for the garage. Okay. Anybody on the board have any questions? No, I just want to say that we did visit the site last Saturday. Al met us out there. Al, you know, Correct. And um, we, we just had a little question about the side front oh. of the building. That's not going to be a pass-through for a vehicle, is it? So what happened was that, that shale was side. blasted out, it looks like, on the side. I think uh, is what he's talking uh, about. Here? Yes. 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 Um, that was cleaned out and looks like, you know, it looks nice, but it's not going to be a drive-through, right? Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a drive-through lane. It, you know, we were going to, it, right now it's just gravel. It could stay gravel. We could put grass there. We could pave it. You know, that, that hasn't been decided. I mean, obviously it hasn't been decided on the planning board level. Um, that would not require a variance, I don't believe. Okay. Just what I was concerned about why it was cleaned out. So how many vehicles is he going to have there? It's going to be seven vehicles. Is that what you're talking about? That he's now going to, because I think he's got one or two there now. He's going to end up with seven in total because he's trying to basically take, he's got another building and he wants to consolidate, I think is what right. the purpose so, of doing this is. So he has uh, equipment that uh, obviously this time of the year could be stored outside, but in inclement weather cannot be stored outside because there's actual fluids and water inside of the units and they need to be in a conditioned environment so they need to be in a heated environment so they don't freeze um those those vans are presently stored at a different location in, in and how many is it going to store how many are they going to store inside now of the seven that are going to come all of them all of the ones that have interior um systems systems yeah and what about the trailers in the back? There's some silver trailers or something in the back. What is he doing with those? Off to the side. So if you go on the property off the left-hand side, there's like three or four Are trailers. They not in the parking area? Yes, they're, oh. they're in the back of the lot. Like here? In the parking area? Yes. Yeah, that's, yeah. Where, that's where they are. So we're just, we're just wondering, what is he doing with those? Is that more storage? I mean... What is that? Because that's really not, doesn't look like it's part of his business. It's not a van or anything else. It looks like it's just, Well, so. I wasn't there. Were they, are they trailers like um, con contractor trailers? Yeah, they're like enclosed box trailers, right? Or no, they look like camping trailers oh, that camping? pop up. They look like pop-ups. Oh, right? yeah. they, they, so my, I was wondering if he was uh, renting parking spaces. I don't them. believe he is. He has, I know that the boat trailer is his personal boat trailer. So, hmm. I mean, uh, unfortunately, Mr. Espinosa is not here tonight. Make that a condition. <laughs> can't rent out space to whatever, or yeah. can't have. I don't think we address that ever. What's that? I don't think we ever address that, whether he could rent out. Uh, it wasn't in the use permit. But it wasn't, it wasn't approved or denied in the use permit. We never mentioned it. But you can make it a condition if we want. Well, yeah. I don't okay. want to speak to the attorney, he, but you could, yes. But, but Mr. Espinosa wasn't the owner of the property when the use variance was granted. That was granted to the previous owner. It's true, but. But it was restrictive on what we allowed him for the use variance. Yeah, there are only nothing, a nothing was allowed outside. That was one of the conditions. Mm, right. Outside storage of material. No, outside of, of anything. We said it had mm. to be. Well, he can park vehicles there, yeah, right? Park. Vehicles, are, vehicles, vehicles are fine. Okay. Equipment is fine, but these are not equipment. Well, maybe they're part of his cleaning business. We don't know what they are. And the concern was that he was renting parking places. That was my concern when I saw those trailers. I do not and believe he is renting parking okay. spaces. Okay, then I, I, it's either personal I, property or it's or so, it's so what we can do, Bob, is this is matter. part of the condition for either granting or denying, assuming you know you're gonna grant it. We can always say that you can't rent those out and we'll just put that stipulation in. You the, can't do that in a can you do that in an area variance? I don't think so. It would I mean, have to could, be an extension of it. I mean yeah. the, the, the other the, 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 it's also subject to site plan approval, so uh, I mean, that could also be a condition of the site so plan. So we we can put a condition in and we can have the, the planning board do it, but we might as well do it. Correct. I think it's yeah. an oversight. There was a very um, uh, 
con I wouldn't say confusing, but it was a hard thing to, to define the use permit because you don't know what it was going to be used for. But Correct. So. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah, I had a concern when I saw a lot, a lot of parking place means a uh, blacktop. I don't know how the rainwater will be con uh, contained. Right, so the, the existing condition it because has, has yeah. existing blacktop. Right, but right. some of the blacktop is going to be removed. This has already been removed. Anything that's approaching on the neighborhood's property. So we're actually going to have a net reduction in oh, the permeable mm -hmm. surface. And also, you can tell that this is not in very good condition. It's broken up. It's, mm -hmm. So it's going to be So when we repave, it will not increase the area like uh, that uh, space between the front neighbor and the building, the one which is, I think we talked about, knocking the clear up that area. There, there's uh, right. green space uh, here. Yeah, uh, that's it, okay. Then. Yeah, there's green space, that right. becomes greener. Greener, okay. Right now it's pretty much a mud pile. Now, do you have wetlands on the back of that property too? There are wetlands in the back of this property. Mm -hmm. Okay, because we also noticed that in addition to the side, looked like there was shale there. He, he blasted it out on the one side, but it looks like he did it also in the back of the property too. And and I think you were Al, you were saying that the wetlands a little bit farther in the back, so they still had some space. But I don't know if that would so this, this affect is it or not. Okay. Okay. Wait. Mm -hmm. So right now we're looking to see if this garage can be part of that site plan. Okay. You overstepped the bounds a little bit in terms of he was a little too aggressive, I think, when he was doing some earth moving over there. Okay. Got it. Yes. Okay. Hence bringing in the experts to help him get himself out of those jams. <laughs> Got it. <clears throat> Got it. But the impervious is not being increased. It's actually no, being it's decreased. Actually decreasing. Mm -hmm. decreased. Correct. Okay. Okay. Any other questions for board members? Otherwise, we're going to open it up to the audience. Anybody from the audience like to speak for or against this particular proposal or approval? Yes, sir. Come on up and please state your name and your address. Uh, good evening. Good evening. My name is Doug Boland, 23 McFarland Road. Okay. Wabinger Falls. Uh, I'm here to probably get a little bit clearer position, okay, on what we're talking about. I see a site plan over here. Uh, I don't see much about the building changes. Uh, they're coming 20 feet closer to the road? No, they're not. They're going to stay exactly the same. Um, well, you're requesting a variance, okay. So, uh, yes, so the, the existing setback is 15 feet, and the requirement In order for this building, in order for us to include this building, which is what we would want, is to enclose this concrete and make that part of the building, square it out, and increase and make the outside look better. This is the This, this is the existing. This is the parcel of property that is not yours. No, this is all part of the property. Over here is the other parcel. So he has a flat lot, so his driveway comes along here. Mm -hmm. And then this, this the, the easement is for the existing condition. For the variance, I'm sorry. The variance is because of the existing condition. Sorry, you just have to get near the mic. Yeah, get him close to the mic. Yeah, yeah. I think it is not increasing. Okay. So uh, the other the other question I have is uh, I'd like to ask what's going to be going on on the property. Uh, can I just ask you one question before we answer that one? 
You, you said you're across the street. Just for 23 is across. I am. Okay. Thank you. I'm concerned, okay, with the valuation uh, affecting my property. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, so what's going to go there is it's basically it's going to be it's a cleaning services business is what it is. So there's okay. going to be trucks it, there. It'll be cleaning services. Is this going to be subject to environmental uh, stipulation? I don't know what chemicals these use. No, we all have wells in that neighborhood. Well, I'm hoping it's just and a uh, it's just a storage. And I'll let you answer it, please. Excuse me, excuse me, I'm sorry to bother you. Al? Al. Al. Yeah, it's kind of disturbing because we're here at your conversation, plus that's our, thank you. So the sorry. cleaning products are similar to cleaning products that you use in your house, only they're used any for- spe Any specific names? I don't know exactly what products he uses, but they clean it sounds in- very, it Sounds very vague. They clean office buildings. They clean inside office buildings. Once again, they, I, I don't know. There how are. That my health and but, my neighbor's health and, but, and the neighborhood's health. But well, the cleaning supplies are going to be in, in vans, right? They're not stored outside in the parking lot or anything like that. People, okay, who use chemicals, okay, in, in a commercial use are subject. Yeah, anybody who yeah. uses. Uh, 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 if there is anything that is listed with the DEC, he would have to have paperwork on that, and it would be subject to the DEC regulations. That's not subject to the town. Has that, has that regulation? We did. If they had has, if has they had, well, we, don't know. we um we got a yeah, negative we, death we on this. The town does not regulate hazardous materials. So the state does. The state does in the federal government. And, and, and those materials so cannot, the, be, cannot be moved in or out okay, without proper do documentation. Correct. Correct. They, so, Barbara, even if we did do the as approval as here, doesn't it still have to go back to the planning board? Yeah, so, this, yes. this variance is for area variances. This will go back to the planning board, and the planning board will also hold a public hearing. And these are the type of questions that. So basically what we're doing is we're just looking to do the area variance here tonight as far as the questions you have really apply to the, the planning board. And those are the questions you can ask them. They're free to answer. They'll have the engineers and everything else there to explain it. I do understand uh, I mean, there would be additional questions. Sure. The, uh, the letter okay, that I received, please take further notice. Board of Appeals has not made a determination of significance pursuant to the state environmental quality. We have addressed it in one way, however, the is not addressed here. So, I have questions. Okay. I'd like to have them answered. That's all I'm asking. Sure. Thank you. So, Good. For, for purposes of seeker, an, a setback variance is not is a type two action subject to seeker so for purposes of this variance um it is a type two action under seeker um the planning board action is subject to seeker and um uh, right. i don't with respect to the site plan approval that's you know one of the questions that's asked is whether or not there's any hazardous materials stored on site I believe that was no. So, so Jim, I just want to make sure this the gentleman's questions are answered because he does have some legitimate questions. So, is right. it more of a, you know, a planning board issue, and we're just doing the variance for the, the right. size so, and everything else? So, so for I, I just don't want him to think that we're, you know, putting him off and we're not right. answering his questions. I want him so to feel for comfortable. So, purposes of the variance that's being requested, it's not subject to environmental review. It's a type two action under seeker. Um, because it is for a, 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 a setback variance. So in that case, um, there is no what we call Seeker State Environmental Quality Review Act. The action, the site plan review for the site plan is subject to um, a secret determination, but to your question, as far as whether or not there's any hazardous materials on site, the answer that was, the 
secret documentation that was provided to the planning board that was checked as no. I'm not, as far as I'm aware, um, I do not believe that DEC regulates the materials that a cleaning business has. There's, um, for purposes of OSHA, um, there's some um, material uh, data statements and things like that that you know have certain handling requirements, but that would be the same for Clorox bleach or anything like that. So those are not considered to be hazardous materials for purposes of environmental review or um, would in uh, you know the, the 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 hazardous material transportation regulations. Would volumes enter into that? You know, household yes. different from commercial. Sure. Yeah. Right. I mean, the volumes. I mean, for, for purposes of, um, you know, we can we can look into that. But one of the requirements in order to get a building permit is under um, the New York State Fire Code. Um, there's, you know, regulations as far as the hazardous materials. Um, you know, I, I I don't believe for bleach. I don't. It's not, you know, it's not. No, I, okay. Bleach is didn't consider hazardous from fire point of view, but from environmental or from the drinking water point of view, which is the concern, which is a real concern. So, but here in zoning board, we are talking about the distance, not what to store, what not right. to store. So I believe this one has to take to the planning board when they have a open meeting, we should bring that one. Definitely right. is a concern. But zoning board, I don't think we have a restriction on that part. No, All we don't. We are we, trying to do is we just physical the size can itself. fit that one or not. That's so I mean, your, your, I think, concern is definitely valid. If I'm living next door, I would have. Can I ask one more sure, absolutely. Uh, Go ahead. Well, there is a use right? variance. We changed about a year ago. So the, the, it is zoned as a residential use. The, app, the prior owner of the property came before this board and requested a use variance because of the commercial, the, the zoning board granted a use variance because of the um, historical commercial uses of the property going back to Slope or Willem. Well, was there. Correct. I don't, I don't know how this, the, the chronological order of that property disseminates on down mm -hmm. from there. Slope of Willen, and then, and then where did the property go after Slope of Willen? It was owned by a number of different owners. Private? Um, private owners, yes. The town never owned it? The town never owned it, no. It's always been in private hands. The town no. operated it after John Slober okay passed on? No, town never operated it. Slober Well and Ambulance was there long after okay John Slober passed away. Yes, but again that was a the town had a contract for ambulance services with Sloper Willem Ambulance. Right. Okay. So the town never owned the property. Okay, so so right now okay it's it's granted as a residential uh piece of property going to be used for a commercial piece of property in a residential neighborhood. Right, so it was granted a use variance which allowed a, a limited a limited use of the property. I've been a tax paying resident on McFarland Road for 35 mm -hmm. years. Other neighborhood people that have been there okay is probably as long as I have, maybe some not as long. I just don't understand why I pay taxes for a residential okay neighborhood that I moved into and it becomes commercial and people are allowed to do business on my block. The property has been commercial since prior to zoning. The ambulance business that was there existed prior to zoning. Okay, we, at the county end, Players has a w warehouse next door. They do. County Players is back there. Which yep. is again, these you know, are, a non-residential use. Never, never noticed there before. This, this is something new that we are going to be noticing now. Now that I know that there's chemicals and things that are going to be being used. 
That's all. I, I, I have right. further questions. Okay, maybe I've raised some points. Well, we're hoping that you know the chemicals are just going to be. Yeah, no sure. problem. We're just hoping that the chemicals are going to be stored there. That's it. They're not going to actually physically use it. Just a storage facility is really what it is. I mean, the only. And why it's yeah, but it can change, right? If, if there's no restriction, I mean, his concern is I, I, I can feel it, but. But my law right. Okay, that's why. Or anything, we know the next door, right? So you know, in being in a neighborhood with a lot of wells around, I can see the concern. I'm not sure how to address, but that's not part of zoning board activity. That's a planning board. His, I think it's good so, that you brought these concerns right. forward. They're on the record, and I think they will be addressed at the planning site plan review. We, we can't do it here. Um, what we did look at when we granted the use permit was his traffic flow. And his guys clean at night, so they pick up their trucks late in the afternoon, and they bring them back in the morning. So there's not traffic in and out all day long. That's what he said. And that's, that's the basis that we granted the use variance on. Right. I mean, we didn't want to see truck traffic all day long in and out of there either. And we knew the residents didn't want to see that as well, so. Should we uh, sure. put a condition yeah. on any of that? Yeah. Can go in and out at a certain time only? No, oh, you can't do that. Well, that's actually. Any, anybody else like to speak for or against that? Please come up and state your name, ma'am, please. And your address? My name is Meg Braun, and I live at 22 McFarland, directly okay. in front of the yeah. property. 20. Right here. Driveway. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Where he said he excavated this. I understood there should be a five foot easement up from the property line. Uh, he took 12 feet from the building, which I believe is part of my property. I don't know that, I can't prove it. Uh, but there have been, trucks do go in and out a lot of the time during the day. I wouldn't say more than six a day maybe. Uh, they do park vehicles in that easement sometimes. They don't use them in the driveway. But they do park things there. My concern was where they were going to put the garage and I understand that's where the, the Existing. The pad is right now. No, that will be part of me. No, but this is the existing garage. They're just going to replace it. That's still there. I love the back. It's still there. They're, they're just going to extend. It's still there. Okay. So you want to put the new one here? Yeah, it'll be in the back. Near the, yes. near the water. Oh. Yes. Okay. But they would enclose that patio and make this. Right. Square. Okay. I was just wasn't sure where they were wanting to put the. Yes. Sit. Um, Yep, so it'll we stay that put way. Trees along, the along this berm. No, we put trees here also. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. So, Ms. Braun, I got a question. <laughs> yes. You said that the gentleman, Espinoza, is parking or his workers are parking. Some he has. He doesn't park it there all the time. In that little slot that was yes. cleared out. Okay. Yes. Here. No. In that area. Okay. So it's the, the part they just cleaned out, I think, is what she's yeah, talking about. Okay. Yep. I think we can because of, there condition. was about, yeah. probably about five feet between the building Correct. and, and that, the wall. The, the, the Whatever wall. you want to call it. It's a bunch of rocks, really. That's yeah. All, yeah. No, yeah, it exactly. Is. Now they make it wider. That also actually helped alleviate a drainage problem along his building because there was um, earth yeah, right I, up against the building. Yeah, there was some. Um, I don't think that was really, I think his problem was more the downspout, but. Yeah, yeah. Probably. I, I have a back porch on my house and I can see what goes there, on there, <laughs> every day. So Jim, can you we, know, um, I don't know. Can we do something about the uh, I don't, he seems like a very nice man. No, I'm sure it's fine. I am concerned about it being used for 
that it has been used for commercial before, and I understand it's zoned that way. But as time goes on, it's that somebody else going to request a variance in the same area. I know this has been this way this for quite a while. And after the ambulance was there, there were people who, some man supposedly who kept an antique car, and he did, but he also had a detailing business. And there was another car repair place. There were 54 Ac Acuras parked in the back. I, he, somebody rented the land out. I know it was before this owner. But Correct. It's, mm -hmm. It really can't be seen from McFarland Road, so they pretty much do whatever they want down back there. <laughs> Well, I, think that, anyway. I think our zoning administrator what, and stuff will go down there and occasionally check on I, that, and they'll, they'll see something like that. I will say that um, part of the use variance was the they had to allow the building department to come and inspect mm -hmm. once a year. I think um, that's not common, but okay. because the use variance is such an unusual right. uh, thing in a, in a residential area, we put that in so that the building department could go make sure they're not doing anything they shouldn't be doing. Yeah, because it, it is- Plus, it's commercial, so I believe there's fire inspections once a year, too. Yeah. All right, well, so- it's every year, but um, there's different- criteria. Yeah, so once we change the zoning on that, to, you know, the use variance of that, exactly as Bob has said, we, we put some pretty stringent contingents mm -hmm. in there, Correct. conditions so that my no, biggest our, question our was where this garage was going. I really couldn't picture it all. The 15 feet thing just threw me. I did not know they were talking about an existing building. <laughs> so, so yeah, so the way the code is drafted is if you've got an existing building mm -hmm. that's already in the setback, if you're going to, in this case, right. they're talking about put a pitched roof on and eliminate mm -hmm. the right. flat roof. Right. So in that case, it's considered to be an expansion of the nonconformity. Mm -hmm. So they're not looking to move the front line of the building anymore. Um, right. But to in order to in order for the town to grant a permit, they right. need to do that. The one question that I have is, is there any way to put grass or any any kind of vegetation in that in that space there? Not really. No. I, I was gonna say it. No. Say it I, you you know, it's, it's wrong. It was there before before he excavated it there there was it's all shale it. you, you can't yeah it's all shale you can't do any of that property there but all this can be done though uh, you could put a planter yes right you could put a plant okay it's pretty much rock yeah. i i, I yes. mean I, I know, like, one of the one of the things and and you know for purposes of a buffer between that hmm. property since it's so close you know some sort of buffer I think would like be a, 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 well, a raised this plant or sort of is sure. a buffer because my property is Low. pretty high compared yeah. to you know where right it is. yeah I, I can see his roof from my porch so mm -hmm. um, um, it'll, it'll look nicer with I, yeah, I, mean, I can see that in your pictures <laughs> but you know. anyway that's I I have a question if you're sitting on her porch what are you gonna see with this new roof structure Al? Al? You're going to see more roof. <laughs> yeah. are you, <laughs> but you're going to see a nicer looking roof. Um, yeah. from, from where I sit, where, which picture is this? You're going to see that. Okay, so the, this is going to be a pitched roof. That's though. correct. Which will be an improvement. So this okay, is just make it a point. So hopefully a nicer view than what you're seeing today. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else in the audience like to speak? Please, ma'am, come on up. State your name and your address, please. Hi, Cheryl Blickman. I'm at 21 McFarland. I'm directly across the street. Okay. And as Doug has his concern about the water, I do as well. My, you kind of addressed that. So I'll come to the next meeting on that one. My question is the tractor trailers. Now that it's bigger, I had actually helped a tractor trailer back in his property. That shouldn't, a tractor trailer should not be on McFarland for that purpose. When so, was that? Yeah. Um, well, my house was getting rebuilt. Maybe it was two months ago. No, we weren't even in yet, so it was April. We weren't even in the house yet. So I had to tell the driver to go down to um, Beachwood, turn around, and come back up so we can back in that way. It should never happen. Never, ever, ever. 
I mean, I have such a tough time with our road as it is with the traffic. <laughs> now that we have Adams, they don't want to stop at that light. They go through. And right. um, unfortunately, my, my neighbor's dog got killed in front of my driveway um, a month ago. And the car just took off and just didn't wait. So this is the tragedies of McFarland Road, and it just gets worse. And I've been there for uh, 26 years. So, I mean, with all this stuff, I mean, it's just hard to live there. And, you know, <coughs> my property goes downhill, so whatever he emits from his property is going to go right into my well, and I'm going to consume it. So that's all I have to say. Would that be a planning board issue too, yeah. Jim? Or? I I think there are very, you know, very legitimate concerns, yes, sure. and I, I appreciate you folks bringing it to our attention. But Just I think for the purview of this board, so right, those are more planning board issues than zoning board issues. Now, yes. and, and just um, for the residents, um, there was a the, the a water main was put in McFarland. Um, <laughs> no, and so at some point in time. Um, the water district will be expanded. So just so the, the residents know, that was uh, put in. Um, yeah, we, we, we go there. Right. Yeah, we, we live there when it's what it is. Right. Yeah. So I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but you know, as far as the issue with respect to water, um, if you do have issues with the well in, in the sh in the near term, the town is looking to expand. The water district to serve the property. So when the main was put in, there were um, connections put in for all of the, the properties. But right now, the well fields don't have suffi sufficient capacity to supply all of the properties. So the town's in the process of expanding the well fields to permit um, the residents to connect it at, at a future date. So, um, so there's that. Um, so, um, I, don't think, I don't think that were it's necessary for us to do it since we have plenty of, no, I, plenty right. of water in the ground. Right, so, but. And like it's probably said, a very expensive proposition, too, I'll bet. <laughs> it has to be, yes. Um, you don't know prices are going up. Right. <laughs> so, so, I, I guess my only other concern is, you know, this uh, lady uh, uh, talked about the tractor trailer. I'm, I'm sure. concerned that because we were told. There's only going to be six bins there, so uh, if if that's truly the case, that is a concern. We shouldn't have something. Well, maybe, maybe I've seen it. I've seen it as well, probably a couple of different times throughout. I couldn't put my finger on it. Now, what what type of? I don't of, really know what goes on in that property. I, I don't what type of? I mean, uh, these are deliveries. Yeah. Type of. Okay. okay. Yeah, So Mark, well, are you familiar with that at all? Issue too, um, in, if to instead, I guess he backed off of McFarland. Is that what, well, or did he go in front with? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The way he was trying to do it is he passed the property and was going to back in Into that it. way. And where my house is, there's no way to go forward. So he, it was okay. easier for him to go past my house. And back in that way. I used to work for the United Airlines, so I have an idea on how they operate. Uh, uh, sure. I think that could be a good problem. Well, I mean, we used to, what we used to do, if we couldn't get in a property or we were not allowed to go down, we would take the items off of that and put it on a straight truck, right. and the straight truck would go and deliver mm -hmm. it. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's ways around it. I right? think it's a planning yeah. issue with tractor trailers, and I think it could be resolved. <laughs> That way, yeah, I, I certainly, as I mentioned before, absolutely legit, legitimate concerns, you know, especially with that type of business. But again, you know, it's really a planning board issue, not a zoning board issue. I agree, it, but and we I just want to make sure that you know their concerns are heard at the planning board. So if they're not able to attend the meeting, that somebody will be a spokesperson for them to say these are some of the issues that you know some of the residents brought up. Somebody needs to do it if they can't we will, attend. And we'll make sure that these minutes are sent to the planning board members on this topic. I think it behooves the applicants or the applicant's engineer to be proactive and not have the questions asked, to have the information prior to and make that as part of the submission, whether it be about 
uh, the chemicals. Well, so yeah. we've done buildings before. The cleaning where products. They've been, you know, toxic or whatever. So we've been asked to provide a list and how it's going to be stored and protected. So I don't think that's unreasonable. No. And I don't want to say that, you know, for Carlos' sake, the limitations of the, I imagine they were delivery vehicles. They weren't his vehicles, but to be limited. Yes. And that's it. This is what you're limited to. Um, period. That can make that physical turn. You don't want to make the entranceway any larger. Uh, it's a residential street. Could accommodate it by making a wider entrance, bigger radiuses to allow the bigger vehicles. But I wouldn't want that because, again, you want to maintain the residential streetscape, so to speak. Right. So, he has to, so he has to... Uh, so will you be at the planning board, Al? You or Margaret? I, well, I'm going to be at the planning board as a mm -hmm. byproduct of the architect drawing up the pretty pictures and making the building look like a residence. I will be there. So my suggestion to you, since you're here tonight and you've heard a lot of the questions, you may want to make sure your person is prepared no, to answer some of their concerns. And I'll, and I'll make we sure that we will. I'll make sure that happens. Thank you. Mr. Oh, sir, can you please come up? Sir, you have to use the microphone. I'm sorry. Sorry, you have to. <laughs> can't hear you. We just want to make you get up and down. No, no, no problem. To the uh, toxicity and the volatility of the products being stored. That would be a, a, a list. Question. A list would be appropriate. You know, a list of the materials. Yes, correct. And the class. Sure. Yep. Uh, yeah. sure. List yeah. and how they're going to be. Yeah. Once again, I, I'm not the professional, okay, sure. on these yeah. products, so if we could have them addressed. Sure. And the planning board may have already, that may be on their itinerary of questions to ask anyway. That's Correct. Not what you guys are here for, but all of those items, traffic, yada, 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 yada are there right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. If we do decide to grant this variance tonight, or, or not, whatever, I would like to put a condition in on that side property for Mrs. Yeah. That that be either like Jim said, or Al said, or somebody said, that it be somehow grassed over, or? You won't be able to grass over that property. It's too much rock and well, shale there, but I understand. Indeed. Well, the suggestion was a planter. But, yeah, you know, a raised some, planter. Some sort okay. of, you, you know, some sort of. In a raised yes, planter. Tom, to answer your or, question, you can't put that in as a Or make the sole purpose of that area to be a walkway as or opposed a walkway. to a driveway. And, and, and yes, however you accomplish that, right, pavers, right, grass pavers, whatever, that a walkway would be appropriate, right? You could close it off. put a fence on either end of it, too. Follow the fence or whatever to prohibit that. That, that pass through, right? Yeah, that's Even that, that's a yeah. mm -hmm. Might be easier to put up a fence. Yeah, put, put ballards that it's way. You can have pedestrian traffic. Uh, you wouldn't have any truck traffic. He, he told me that he dug it out because uh, the water was Good. seeking leaks. Footing. Water, when it rained, was coming through the floor. Yes, footing. Yes. Because there was dirt. Uh, there was. So he did that for drainage purposes? That, yeah. He did it for draining pur drainage purposes. It did not help. Okay. It was not the problem. <laughs> he had to address the drainage problem some way, other way, but in the meantime, he, that's why he told okay. you he dug it out. Right. Thank you for the clarification. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, anybody else like to speak for or against in the audience? If not, can I have a motion to close the public hearing? I'll make a motion to close I the public hearing. I have a second. Hearing. Second. All in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. Can I now have a motion to either grant or deny the variance? We do it all Six. at once. Yeah. I make a motion to grant the variance. Um, the benefit cannot be both variances, the setback and the uh, four car building. Um, the benefit cannot be achieved by any other means. Um, I think uh, as I think the the um, the architectural renderings of the uh, the changes to the buildings will be a benefit to the neighborhood. Um, the request is substantial. Um, it 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 does not appear that this variance will have physical or environmental effects on the on the neighborhood. 
and the <coughs> difficulty is not self-created, I don't think. Self-created would be something that's already existing that we have to approve. This isn't there yet. So I, uh, I move that we grant the two variances. Two, three, how many are there? Two. Two. Yeah. Two. two variances. Two. So uh, I'm gonna say that I think some of that was self-created mm -hmm. um, without a doubt. Uh, there are potential environmental impacts, uh, water drainage, et cetera, but I think that there's a remedy in place to, you know, at least aesthetically wise, make it look a little nicer, the side road there, et cetera. Um, so I just want to add those couple of comments into there, into the record. So yeah. now we need a second. But I'll second it. Can we get a roll call, B? Any other conditions before we do? Yes, I, I like, I like oh, the yeah. conditions, concerns with the chemical storage or chemical use. So the planning board should look, look into that in more detail about how they are going to contain the chemical so it doesn't get spill over not only storage, but also they should have containment plan. I got to ask, that's a good question. Can that is that a condition, condition of the variance? Well, it's, it's going to be but the variance is conditioned upon Zoning board. Site plan approval by the planning board. Right. Okay, so that's yes. but your that's condition. It. My condition's different, yeah. Yes. But what was your condition, Tom? Well, I just think in that uh, Mrs. Braun, is it? Ms. Yeah. Braun, what, what she had stated about vehicles in that slot between the building and the berm where her property abuts, uh, I make a suggestion that that become a no accessible parking area. Yes. However, I agree. So no vehicle access. No vehicle access. Yeah. Uh, however, the architect and the uh, plan. I will or, amend my approval for both of these conditions. Okay. So we put those in there. Okay. Thank you. Do we have a vote? Right? All right. So we have a second on the. Got a first. As you second. redid yours, and you got Pete is. I'll second the motion. You're going to second the amended. I will second as amended. Okay. Now, can we have a roll call, please? Yes, I do. Mr. Yes. Mr. Delacour? Yes. Mr. Yes. 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 Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you, uh, audience. And thank you to members of the yeah. audience for their comments. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. Okay, we now have a motion to adjourn, please. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Can I have a second. second? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Who's second? I did.